back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be cutting this dress that you can see on your screen in my last tutorial we drafted out the pattern in this um video we are going to be joining our patterns together if you've not seen the pattern drafting tutorial i'm going to leave the link in the comment section so go ahead and watch it before you come join us on this particular one so i have my pattern paper on my fabric this is my front pattern paper i folded my fabric into two and i placed my front pattern paper on it so i'm going to go ahead and start cutting so as you can see on the neckline on the arm o area i'm adding about half an inch okay so i'm cutting like this okay? and as you can see my fabric is wider than my pattern paper because i want the base of this dress to have an a-line effect okay so you don't have to make yours an a-line effect it's still going to be okay like this so what i did was to extend my fabric on the base by three inches okay i'm going to mark the three inches so i'll slant from that three inches to meet the hip line so once i cut and i get to the hip line i'm just going to slant to meet the three inches that i extended the base of the fabric with okay so that's what i'm going to do after doing that guys i'm going to go ahead and cut so i'm cutting through the slanted line okay and on the base of the dress i'm going to just go up by one inch and i'll cut it out okay after doing that guys this is what i have so i'll go ahead and remove my pattern paper from my fabric okay so like i said before my fabric is folded into two meaning my center front is on fold okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to take my dart on the neckline area remember i left one inch for my dart intake on the neckline so i'm going to take in that dart to do that i'll first of all pin my shoulders together so my fabric does not move okay so i'm going to now go inward from the center front by 2.5 inches so i took two inches at first and then i changed my mind and i made it 2.5 inches so go ahead and take 2.5 inches from the center front i'll use my um pencil to indicate the 2.5 inches and then i turned it over to the other side because i'll be taking the dart on both um on two sides of the neckline so i also turned my fabric to the other side and i marked the two inches so i changed my mind and i added half an inch to that two inches making it 2.5 inches so i'll mark the 2.5 inches here i'll turn my fabric to the other side and i'll also mark 2.5 inches after doing that guys i'm going to notch on that 2.5 inches mark just so i know where to take in my dart okay so just go ahead and notch after notching guys i'm going to open my fabric and i'll mark the length of my dart so notching is very important so that when you're sewing on your sewing machine you know where to start your dart from so after notching i'm going to open the neckline up like this as you can see my notch on both sides so the next thing i'll do is to figure out how long i want the dart to be so i want it to be about five inches long you can do three inches 4 inches okay 4.5 inches depending on what you want so as you can see i'm placing my tape on that notch and i'm going down by 5 inches and you can see that the tape that i placed is not on is not straight okay so your dart is going to be slanted it's not going to be a straight dart at all so just look at the way i'm placing my ruler in a slanted form i'm connecting from that notch from that notch okay to meet the five inches that is going to be the length of my dart and i'm repeating the same thing on the other side so this is the reason why i notched okay so once i do anything here i repeat it on the other notched area okay so remember i left one inch for my dart okay and my fabric was unfold okay so what i'll do is to take half an inch on both sides of this line okay half an inch plus half an inch is one inch so i'm taking one inch that here and i'm taking another one inch that here. i hope you guys are not confused okay so what i'll do now is to connect from that half an inch to meet the length of the dart like this so this is our regular dart okay the only difference is we are taking this on the neckline area so i'm going to repeat the same thing for the other side of the dart so whatever you do make sure that this dart is not a straight that is not supposed to be a straight line it's supposed to be slanted
So guys, after taking the dart for the other side of the neckline, this is what I have. So you are going to just hold it together and then head over to your sewing machine and stitch the dart in place. After doing that, go ahead and cut out your facing. So I'll be folding my fabric into two. I'm going to place them like this, okay? Making sure the center front of the facing is also on fold. I'm going to extend my own facing to the shoulder area, okay? So just I'm just going to trim out what I have like this. After doing that, I'm going to first of all take in my dart and then I'll sew my facing in place. Meaning I'm still going to reduce my facing because once I take in my dart, the facing is going to be wider than my fabric okay so i'm just trimming out the excess part that i don't need on this facing after doing that i'll take my dart and i'll sew the facing in place and then i'll use my hemming comb to just iron the facing in place okay so go ahead and stitch your dart and then pipe the neckline if you don't have enough fabric for your facing you can go ahead and use your bias to just pipe your neckline after taking your dart okay so after um taking in my dart and also sewing my facing in place next thing i'll do is to sew this part okay so i'm going to place it right sides facing right sides and i'm going to sew using my half an inch allowance so all you have to do is to turn to the wrong side you're going to arrange everything in place if you like you can go ahead and just pin it to hold it down and then you sew all the way around because we extended the armhole area by one inch you see that everything is going to match up okay so guys for the back i've gone ahead to also fold my fabric into two what i'll do is to go ahead and cut i also extended the side of my fabric also by three inches just like i did for the front okay so i'm going to start from the neckline area as you can see i'm adding my half an inch okay so once i get to the base i'm going to extend it by three inches and i'll slant from the hip all the way to the base like this i also go ahead and trim off the back okay after doing that guys I'm going to remove my pattern paper from my fabric okay so this is what I have so for this that we are not going to split it open what I'm going to do is to use my razor to just open up this that I'll make sure it touches my fabric underneath and then I'm just going to use my scissors to just trim the that up okay this is the easiest method to transfer your that to your fabric okay so I'm just going to open it up like this after cutting guys this is what I have So guys i've gone ahead to remove my pattern paper and this is what um my back pattern is looking like so all you have to do is to just fold it in place right side facing right side and you just close up this that that is all you have to do for the back and then go ahead and also cut out your facing so the same way i went i cut out my facing for the um front is the same thing that i did for the back okay so i'll pin my darts in place i'll go ahead and sew it in place and i'll cut out my facing this time my facing was not on fold okay because the back is not on fold because of the zipper allowance so I'm going to place them right side facing right side. I also extended the facing to meet the shoulder area just like I did for the front, okay? So I'm going to pin. After pinning, I'm going to go ahead and sew. So I'll sew the neckline, I'll sew the zipper area, and I'll use my hemming gun to just iron the facing flat, okay? So guys, after sewing my front um, piece in place, this is what I have. You can see my darts. You can see what it looks like okay i've also gone ahead to sew my facing and i ironed it flat using my hemming gum i've also stitched my princess that and this is what it looks like you can see that i also ironed the princess that open okay just so it stays flat okay so this is what i have for the front and for the back guys i've gone ahead to also stitch my dart in place and this is what it looks like i went ahead to iron it open I've also gone ahead to pipe my neckline using my facing and I ironed the facing down using my hemming gum. Okay, so these are um, the back piece. What I'm going to do now is to place them right sides facing right side. So I'm going to go ahead and fix my zipper and I'll close the remaining side of the back. Okay, so just go ahead and fix your zipper and then close the um, remaining part of the back okay this dress is not going to have any slit so there's no need to leave any opening for the slit okay after fixing my zipper and closing the remaining part of the back i'm going to place the back and the front piece right sides facing right side after doing that i'll join the shoulders together 
I will also go ahead and use my stitching allowance. Remember while I was drafting, I added 1.5 inches as my stitching allowance. So I'll use my stitching allowance to sew on both sides, okay? And then I'm going to iron in place and I'll turn it to the right side. So guys next thing i'll do is to cut out my sleeves to do that i'm going to draft on my pattern paper first okay so for this sleeves, i'm just freestyling okay there are different methods by which you can cut the sleeves that you can see on the thumbnail but since i don't have enough fabric this is the method i'm going to work with okay so on this end i went in by three inches and on the other end i came down by five inches i'm going to use my free hand to just connect like this after doing that, I'll determine the length of my sleeve. So the length of my sleeve is about 25 inches. Okay, I'll place my tape and I'll measure what I have here. I'll mark my round arm or circumference divided by two, which I just did, and I added allowance to it. Okay. The next thing I'll do is to place my round arm circumference, okay, divided by two, and I also add allowance. Okay, I'm doing that about four inches from the um upper part of the sleeves, okay. So after doing that, I'll connect like this. The next thing I'll do is to figure out where I want the flare to start from. So I'm going down by 19 inches, okay? I'll mark the 19 inches like this and then I'll rule a straight line across. After doing that, guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to place my round wrist circumference divided by 2 on this particular line. I'll also add allowance. So don't forget to add your stitching allowance to all these measurements. Once you divide it by 2, go ahead and add your stitching allowance, okay? So after placing it, I'm going to now connect from this point all the way down. I've now added my stitching allowance. So once I connect, I'll just add my stitching allowance to that particular line and I'll connect. Guys, next now I'll do is to place my ruler from that point and I'll connect like this to meet the other end of my pattern paper okay so you are going to determine how wide you want the flare area to be that is how far you are going to fold your fabric okay on the end of that flare I'm going to go up by one inch and I'll connect it back like this okay so after doing that I'm going to go ahead and cut so like I said before there are other method to cut out the sleeves I don't have enough fabric so i decided to just freestyle mine there's this other method where you have to slash and spread okay so after cutting out this is what i have guys i'm going to place this on my fabric for that into four to cut out my two sleeves okay so i've gone ahead to do that and this is what i have i added my um hemming allowance to the base of the sleeves okay what i'll do is to remove my pattern paper so my fab i have two sleeves here open up my sleeves like this and then i'll first of all go ahead and aim the base okay after aiming the base i'm going to go ahead and sew on the side okay i'll close the side okay so first of all aim the base and then sew the um the sides So guys, this is my dress. I've gone ahead to close up the side using my stitching allowance, okay? And the next thing I'm going to do is to fix my sleeves, okay? To do that, I'm going to go ahead and still adjust the armhole area. You know when sewing a princess that posture, it has this tendency of reducing the armhole area. So you have to still retrim your armhole area before um, fixing your sleeves in place. So I've sewn my sleeves in place and this is what I have. What I'll do now is to bring back my dress, okay? As you can see, it's not even matching, okay? So what I'm going to do now is to measure my round arm or circumference on the arm or area of this dress okay so i'll trim both sides of the arm or area just so my sleeves can fit into this arm or area okay so guys i don't have enough fabric to recreate this wet pocket so i just decided to cut out this piece of fabric that was about five inches um wide and the length is 
two inches i used half an inch to just close the sides up okay pattern drafting tutorial i drew something that looks like a wet pocket wet pocket on this that area so that is where i'm going to place this fabric it's going to give it that pocket illusion okay that is why i just went i didn't want to leave it like that so i just went there to just cut out this fabric i'll sew it and i'll iron it down okay so the rough edges is going to be down okay after pinning i'll go ahead and so I, and just iron it down okay so that is what i'll do and then i'll go ahead and we trim the armhole area as you can see me doing i'm placing my round armhole circumference divided by two okay and i'll trim off okay after doing that i'll repeat the same thing for this other side and after doing that i'll just go ahead and fix my sleeves and i'll end the base of my dress okay so guys for this tutorial i managed two years of crepe fabric i would advise that you use a fabric that is thicker than crepe okay so that the hip area is going to pop as you can see my own hip area was just there so guys that is all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful don't forget to like this video leave your questions in the comment section thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one